That's R. Kelly. Well, time's up for R. Kelly. At least that's what a group of women of color are fighting for. They want to mute R. Kelly. They want the singer's record label to mute him. They want Spotify, Apple Music, and Ticketmaster to mute him. Here's why. In 2002, R. Kelly was indicted on 21 counts of child pornography. He was found not guilty. He's also been sued uh, by at least four women for sexual misconduct and sexual assault. But it all started with Aaliyah. Kelly allegedly married the singer when she was just 15 years old. With me now to talk about this is entertainment journalist and pop culture expert John Murray. Welcome, John. Um, R. Kelly has survived a lot, and he's maintained a career, and he still makes money. So is the time right now for women to come forward and say enough's enough? Carol, I don't, I don't think the timing could be better. Um, you know, R, R. Kelly has really become the O.J. Simpson of the music business. Because he escaped justice uh, in his uh, 2008 case, he started to think he was invincible, that he was above the law. And he actually became more notorious, if you believe, a lot of the reporting and the things that have transpired over the last uh, year. It was July of 2017 when Jim DeRotis, a former Chicago Sun-Times reporter, did an article for BuzzFeed, and it was an expose in interviewing multiple women who had been a part of his house, multiple people who had been on his team, and people with very close ties to the R. Kelly uh, scenario and exposed this whole idea of a sex call. I, too, know some people that worked very close with R. Kelly up until recently. And I can tell you firsthand that the stories that they have shared with me about the things transpiring in his house make that 2002 sex tape look like a PG-13 movie. There's some really bad stuff happening there, and it is time's up for R. Kelly to continue to soar. He no longer can fly and do the things that he's doing. Well, you know, that this movement that has started online against R. Kelly, it, it appears to be working, at least in part, because his Chicago concert was canceled. R. Kelly's response to that, here it is. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kells, man. And uh, first of all, I want to apologize to all my fans in Chicago and basically all around the world, wherever, you know, I'm performing at, and they canceled me. Um, I don't know why they canceled the show. Uh, I've never heard of a show being canceled because of homeless, but I guess it's the first time for everything, so I apologize to you guys, and in the meantime, I'm going to try to get to the bottom line of it, you know, uh, as far as my lawyers is concerned, to see exactly what happened and why I was canceled. Uh, until then, man, I love y'all, and I see y'all on the next come around, you understand? I hope you guys, you know, don't put that on me, you know, it ain't on me, all right? Okay, so he says it ain't on me. I'm going to push back a little bit because he hasn't been convicted of anything. So why should he be stripped of his career? Well, you know, if, if you don't uh, believe the victims in this case, and there have been women that have come out that have violated non-disclosure agreements. They have give, given detailed accounts of things that happened in the house. One was a young lady who was convinced that R. Kelly was innocent back when the 2002 uh, tape came out and supported him in 2008 when he went to court. She ended up becoming a victim of his. Her name is Geronda Pace, and she's been talking to anyone who will listen. And I'll tell you this, Carol, one of my good friends also was almost recruited for R. Kelly's sex uh, call. Uh, a celebrity acquaintance of hers had set up a surprise a meeting with him at a basketball gym that he liked to play basketball. And afterwards, someone in his entourage gave her a black card. She thought the card was a blank business card until she got in the vehicle and put her phone over top of it and realized it was a glow-in-the-dark number. She called the number. They asked if they could send separate transportation back for her to come and spend private time with R. Kelly away from the, her, the other guest that was there. And luckily, she was not naive or insecure or so enamored with him that she herself would do so. And so I have seen firsthand with this man, how this man tries to recruit people and her story lines up with so many of the other women who have gotten out of the house that have shared these stories of recruitment as well. It's a frightening story. Well, we'll see what happens. John Murray, thank you so much.